Last set. My hair is so soft, okay? Like, what? <laughs> that was not my hair. Another day, another wash day. Per usual, we're starting off with a pre-poo. I always do a pre-poo. I have a dedicated video on why I pre-poo, the importance of pre-pooing. You can definitely check it out. In this video, I'm using my fenugreek and aloe pre-poo. I do have a dedicated video on how I make this pre-poo. You can definitely check it out in the cards. I will leave my favorite pre-poos down below. I have some gems, so definitely check the description box for my favorites if you're, you know, not into this DIYing thing. But this pre-poo is amazing. It has so much slip, gives me so much moisture and hydration. It also does help me to prep my hair for a protein wash day. Fenugreek, which is one of the ingredients in this pre-poo, does contain some protein. It's not the type of protein that's actually going to get into the hair strands and repair it from the inside out. We'll talk about that later. But it is the kind of protein that will strengthen the hair from the outside and keep it strengthened and fortified. And that's always what we want. The aloe in this pre-poo does balance the protein so it doesn't feel hard on the hair. It literally feels soft like conditioner, but it does have that fenugreek ingredient that works its magic. Per usual, I braid my hair up in two sections and I let the pre-poo sit on overnight under a shower cap. Game changer. If you're not sleeping in your pre-poos, honey, you're missing out. It is the next day and it's time to rinse my hair out. This is what my hair is looking like before I go in with warm water. I always say this if you are new to my channel, hey, how you doing? Consider subscribing. But if you're an OG, you already know, we're going in with warm water. Warm water is best on low porosity hair. It allows the cuticles to stay open and absorb moisture. And moisture is always the goal. Whether we're doing a protein rich wash day or we're doing a moisture rich wash day, you wanna keep that moisture always on point. I'm not sure we're still saying on point or on fleek, but basically you want to make sure the moisture is there. Once I rinse out the pre-poo, I section my hair into four sections. I like keeping my hair nice and sectioned. That makes sure that my hair is cleaned and moisturized thoroughly. No strand is left behind. The first step in cleansing is to wet the section down. Always starting in the back and I'm going in with the Main Crush Crisis Control Ayurvedic Cleansing Mask. I have used this on my channel before. You can check out my first impressions. But y'all, this experience was a different type of experience. I use this as a one product cleansing conditioning product. Honey. It's giving you texture, it's giving you clay and conditioner, it's giving you diversity, it's giving you levels, it's giving you levels to this hair business, okay? This product is a three-in-one product for me. It not only detangles my hair, like honestly, I did not need to pre-poo. The slip is amazing, I just pre-poo out of habit. And your sis got booty crack length goals, it cleans the hair. I tried using this with a co-wash and I felt like it was too much. It was almost too cleansing when combined with a co-wash. And if you know my process, you know I usually combine clay and a co-wash, but it was too much. It literally will clean the hair on its own. And not only does it clean the hair, it conditions the hair. It leaves it nice and soft. Like bruh, it is so amazing. It is not my new staple product besides the Ateneo clay wash, which I still love. This is up there, top two. Love this mask so much and it's so, so, so much more affordable than anything on the market. Plus your girl done finesse a coupon code so you'll be able to save even more money if you use the code BCLH15. I'm gonna keep the codes consistent. So y'all always know what to use, but yes, use BCLH15 and you'll be able to save some coins. This mask has great ingredients. It has aloe vera juice, shea butter, castor oil, but it also contains yummy Ayurvedic ingredients. Y'all know I'm all about Indian hair growth herbs on my channel. There's Aretha, Chikakai, Rasul clay, and hibiscus flower. There's also neem in it. All ingredients that I love on my hair. So you know, it's just an amazing product. And the good thing about it is that it also comes in large sizes. So it does come in the typical eight ounce, which you can use to try it out. But it also comes in 16 ounces 
and 32 ounces. And guess what I'm about to get next? Yes, that 32 ounce, okay? It's so affordable for so much product. So that will definitely be going into my cart. Hey, hey, last act. My hair is so soft, okay? Like, what? That was not my hair. Obviously, I love it because I've rambled on about it for forever. <laughs> so I'm just going to braid my hair up into sections and put on my t-shirt towel to air dry my hair for an hour. It's been an hour and now it's time to do a protein treatment on my hair. If you're new to my channel, hi again. How you doing? But did you subscribe? I like applying any treatment, deep conditioner, protein treatment, light protein treatment, strengthening mask, whatever on my hair on damp or dry hair. That is what works best for me. I have an entire video dedicated to hair treatments and deep conditioning and all that. If you haven't seen that video, definitely click the card above and check it out. So remember when I be telling y'all to read the ingredients? Well, hmm. I didn't really read the ingredients when I was using this product. This is actually an intense protein treatment for me. Okay guys, it is intense. This is the Negus Banda. Yes, Negus Banda. Y'all know how we get down. Love this brand. Like literally one of my favorite brands of the year. I am using their superfood hair mayonnaise deep conditioning treatment. Like most of my treatments, I like going in with oil on my scalp first. Again, I have a detailed video on my entire deep conditioning process. I encourage you to check it out. I'm going in with my DIY hair growth oil. I have a dedicated video on this. You can also check that out in the cards. I like focusing the oil on my scalp. I don't try to get it throughout the length of my hair, mostly on my scalp and around the perimeter of each section. I think when Negus Bonder created this product, they wanted me to tell y'all to throw away y'all DIY protein treatments. I think that's what this product is all about. I've said this multiple times on my channel, but listen to me and listen to me well. Avocado, eggs, and mayo are not protein treatments. I don't care what Cardi B tells you, they are not protein treatments. Can they help the hair? Yes. Can they make the hair feel good? Yes, but these products sit on the outermost layer of the hair. These ingredients cannot penetrate the hair strands and actually repair damaged hair. They can't. Scientifically, they cannot. They can sit on the outside like Ayurvedic treatments like Amla and Shikakai and Hibiscus and helps to strengthen and fortify the hair on the outside. But if you need something to actually penetrate the hair and help with heat damage, and color damage, avocado, eggs, and mayo will never do that for you. But have no worries. Negus Banda got you. The ingredient list on this deep conditioner is phenomenal and it's literally a natural hair girl's dream, okay? So there's water, there's raw honey, there's aloe vera juice infused with a whole bunch of extracts. We're gonna skip over that. The most important thing for me in this product is hydrolyzed egg protein. First of all, I never seen that in my life. I didn't know you could even use egg protein in a product. The reason this egg protein actually will work to strengthen and repair the hair is because it's hydrolyzed. Basically, the protein is small enough and broken down enough actually go into the hair strands and strengthen and rebuild from the inside out. Like, niggas banda, sis, honey, what y'all doing in the lab? So you have egg protein, which is basically the fifth ingredient. There's also hydrolyzed vegetable protein that helps to strengthen the hair from the inside out. Yeah, had I looked at these ingredients beforehand and really read and used that master's degree, I would have seen that there are proteins as the top six ingredients. And when you see that, you already know it's an intense protein treatment. Not only is there egg in this product, there's also avocado extract and avocado oil. Mm -hmm. Like I said, throw that DIY mask away. And like Main Crush, I do have a coupon code for this product. The coupon code is again, BCLH15 for 15% off. This mask is definitely worth picking up. 
Like look how it made my hair look. Y'all see that? It's a protein treatment where it feels like a protein treatment. It feels like it's doing the work. And that's what we want. It did great for my hair. Next time I use it, I'm going to use it when I actually need an intense protein treatment. I ain't quite need one this time, so I was kind of doing the most. But the next time I need a protein treatment, I'm going in with her. Yup, love her so much. A new staple as well. Come on, curls popping. Then I just braid my hair up in two sections per usual, and I sat under my hot head for about 30 minutes or so. Now it's time to rinse my hair out, and this is when I could really feel like, bruh, what you do? <laughs> this is intense. This felt like an intense, one of the most intense protein treatments I've ever felt. Like, kind of up there with Apogee. And y'all know, Apogee is intense. And we're always trying to find a replacement for Apogee. Yep, sis, this is it. This is the type of protein treatment that you need to follow up with a deep conditioner. I was being lazy, so I did not follow up with a deep conditioner. But you gotta be better than me and do better than me and follow up with a deep conditioner. But look at those curls though. Look at those bouncy, juicy curls. I did, however, go in with a cheap rinse out conditioner. This is the Royal Honey and Kalahari Desert Melon rinse out conditioner from Not Your Mother's. You've seen this on my channel plenty of times. Love this rinse out conditioner. Another staple. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, this was not enough. This won't enough. I needed a lot more moisture. But I was being lazy. After I applied my leave-in and moisturizers and stuff, I was okay. But in the future, I will definitely be following this up with a deep conditioner. Definitely let me know what you thought about this wash day. Have you ever tried these products? If you have, let me know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad I'm able to bring you new brands and new products on my channel. It's so fun to put on for some black brands. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. Bye, y'all.